consecutive years. Yeah, Julia, no surprise. There was both alarm and outrage across the country after that announcement came, according to a Communist Party newspaper attributed to a top Communist Party official. This was from the Beijing Daily. This was citing Tai Chi, who is the Beijing's party chief, a close ally of Xi Jinping, and quoted was quoted saying this. For the next five years, Beijing will resolutely implement COVID-19 pandemic control measures and uphold the zero COVID policy to prevent imported cases from coming in and domestic cases from rebounding. And the domestic pandemic control measures that were mentioned included this regular PCR testing, which we currently have to do in Beijing and many major cities across China, strict entry rules into Beijing, health monitoring in neighborhoods and public areas, as well as strict monitoring and testing for people coming in and out of Beijing. Now, in response to that, there was an outpouring of not just anger, but also hopelessness because we're in year three of the pandemic and people are fed up that they still have to go through these strict protocols when the rest of the world has moved on. But in response, after this huge amount of outrage, we saw at Beijing Daily, this Communist Party newspaper actually remove that line in the next five years. And also Weibo, which is China's Twitter-like social media platform, banned the hashtag for the next five years. And the Communist Party newspaper attributed the removal of that line to a publishing error. But Julia CNN reviewed that speech online and the party official did in fact talk about these zero COVID policies that would be in place for the next five years. And let me read to you some of the angry Weibo comments that were posted. They included, quote, I have to rethink whether I should continue to stay in Beijing in the long term. Another Weibo post said, quote, for the next five years, what is the point of being alive even? Right now in China, even though major cities are starting to open up, still all close contacts and positive cases are sent to quarantine facilities. Entire cities and communities are shut down over just a handful of COVID-19 cases. And critics say that really this policy is more rooted in political ideology than science. Because Xi Jinping has directly tied his leadership to zero COVID, well, that means it's not going away anytime soon. Health experts say that the country should be pouring resources into increasing the vaccination rate, especially for the elderly population and making mRNA vaccines available. But instead, the government is pouring resources into these costly testing and quarantine sites. So huge frustration here. And really, the pandemic as well has increased the Communist Party's social control. They are now able to track all of our movements. Our daily routines are all controlled by the color of the health code on our apps. And people fear that this deepening surveillance and tracking is also here to stay long after COVID is gone. Julia. Selena Wang, thank you so much for that. Joining us there from Beijing. Now, a devastating drought, drought has triggered a humanitarian crisis across the Horn of Africa. The region is experiencing the driest conditions in four decades. Millions